Welcome to Social Studies Samurai. In this video, we'll show students and teachers how to create engaging online digital activities using a tool called Flippity. We'll show you how to make Jeopardy games, timelines, and a range of manipulative activities. It's not so difficult, so let's get started. So we will show you where and how to download these Google Sheets templates and you can manipulate them in whatever way you want in terms of text and how to turn them into learning activities such as these using this tool called Flippity. Uh, there's a different range of activities you can use. It's very basic because all you have to do is download the template, publish it, and then uh, uh, share the link to the web. Some of the activities have different features, like different colors, and they have bells and voiceovers. Um, and it's so simple to use and connected to your Google account that even students can make these for learning activities or you as a teacher for extension activities. So let's see some of the activities you can do. As an example, this is a click and drag activity where students can put elements into different categories. Let them try it on their own and then they compare to other uh, other students in the class and then maybe make some changes, but get a good discussion as to why did one thing go in one place and something in another. How about a quiz show or Jeopardy type game where students can work in teams or on their own. They choose the point value. They answer the question. If the teacher feels they got the right uh, answer, all you have to do is click the check mark, get the buzzer and the points automatically go in. How about a timeline where students or the teacher can make these, uh, you know, as a review activity or perhaps as a class assignment. And you can also put in different media with your own text and of course links to uh, source credit or the actual source itself. How about a scavenger hunt where students are either searching on the net or testing their knowledge of uh, language. We've just unlocked the door. Go back and then do the next one. How about flashcards? Students challenge themselves to remember what a term means. And note how it's color coded so that uh, it kind of differentiates from each term to term. So the question is, how do we make this? And I'll take the time to note that for some of these, you're gonna get these ads. That's just the way it is. Uh, so if you go to a specific activity, you're gonna notice that they have a demo, which you can click and try it out yourself. You can go straight to the instructions or you can download the template. I'm gonna download the template right away. You're going to see this, it's a Google Sheet and you're going to have to make a copy. Click, make a copy. Now what I recommend is first change the name and you might want to go to file, go to move, and choose a different place in Google Drive that you want to save the activity. Keep yourself organized. Now for some activities you can put images in. For this one I'm not going to do that, but you simply just have to replace the, uh, the text and the link to the image online. Be sure to give a citation in there. Now what I'm going to do is change all of my data in here. So let's do that now. Now what I recommend is you already have your text prepared so really it's just a copy and paste and you can save yourself a little bit of time. And this text I could use for other activities and other platforms or even in other activities in Flippity. So I'm going to take this text and I'm going to put it in this spreadsheet. So I've got all my text in here, my clues. I'm not adding hints for this one and I've got my responses, my answers. The options tab down at the bottom sometimes gives you more functionality. So I encourage you to check that out. But what I want to do is first go up here to file again, right here. And I want to click on publish to the web. And all I'm going to do is click publish, click OK. And then you just have to close that. The next thing I do is go down to the tab that says get the link here. Tap on that and because it's already published and you'll get a reminder, I just have to tap on the link. I can copy the link and share it to Google Classroom or email my students 
I recommend you tap the link and test it out first. Let's see. That one worked, so I get my green light and then I go back. And this one's not working out. So that means I have to keep searching or somehow find the right answer. And that is pretty much Flippity. I recommend that you have a look at the different activities they have, but even from Flippity, in their e-learning recommendations tab, it gives you suggestions on how you might want to use them in the class. And do note that uh, the crossword puzzles and, uh, and word searches and that have to be printed out and they don't actually work online. I'm gonna see if I can find a way to do this. Have fun with this. I'm sure you can get your, uh, your students making really cool activities where they can learn from each other. Enjoy. Thank you for watching the video. If you are a student or a teacher of subjects like history, geography, politics, and economics, you can find more resources on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and on the web at socialstudiesamurai.com. I hope to see you again.